Alright, so today we have a Rush uh, Model 380 drill grinder. This is for uh, sharpening your drill bits. Um, there's several types of drill bits, you know, depending on how many flutes you have, two flutes, three flutes, four, whatever. You have uh, the different cams uh, that you put on here to uh, make this thing function properly. Um, so you have a grinding wheel mounted here, a chuck here. Um, when we start off the grinding wheel, the grinding wheel can be fed in or out to your drill. Have a gauge here protecting your uh, sides of the drill. You can rotate the chuck by hand. It can be put in different positions along this uh, way here. It can also be run this way. We move the wheel in, move the wheel out. So somehow, if you have this all set up right, you can go in there and dress this wheel, this, this drill, excuse me. I don't think I want to give it a try, but something like that. You actually have a pneumatic uh, function on this, and you can come in as you go along. Keep going and keep going until you have your drill the way you want it, and you can put your gauge back on and check your, your dimensions. Now the chuck can just hold a uh, drill like it's holding it right there. I believe it's a six, six jaw chuck. Uh, you have several different indents on here uh, and a mechanism here for locking it in place. There's a bar here with a scale along the side. I'm not quite sure what, what that does, but obviously this chuck does more than just hold the drill. Over here you have a cam follower. This is following this cam allowing this to make the right monk pump. This is not just rotating, this is also going in and out if you look here. And that's following this cam. Now this cam has a number four on it. Not sure what that means. We have a number two, four, six, eight, and ten. So it comes with all those different cams. Uh, let's back this out of the way. Take this, you got your chuck key here. We can take that out of there. I'm just going to open these jaws up a little wider. Now they come with these uh, tool holders. This particular one has uh, Morse taper number five. So the taper inside of here is for any kind of a drill uh, with a Morse taper number five shank on it. This one is a Morse taper number three. So anything with a Morse taper number three you could use on there. You also have a Morse taper number uh, two, I believe. So five, three, two and uh, this one is a Morse taper number four. And we'll take the big one here. So let, let's say you put your big old drill in there that has a Morse taper number five. It's going to be sticking out about this far, maybe even longer. You're going to get it in there and you're going to get the drill through the front, the front jaws and you're going to send it in this tube. This is going to hold it and center it perfectly and get it down there wherever you need it and lock your jaws and that's how you hold the uh, Morse taper number five shank drill or the four or the three or the two. So they all come with this. We have our different cams here. You take the one that's on there off and you put these on. The machine comes with a manual, explains all this stuff. Um, this is a dressing tool. Again, you'd put this down through the bore and tighten your chuck up onto it and then you can turn it in such a way to put certain uh, relief or angles or just dress uh, the grinding wheel. Coolant tank is on the bottom, it's built in. 
comes up over the side, you have a valve here, to turn it on and off, you have a vertical adjustment, you have a horizontal adjustment, and you have a adjustment in and out, as well as all the adjustment uh, that you have here. So that's pretty much it. It's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. Uh, needs air to run if you're going to use uh, the air motor here. So that's the Rush Model 380 uh, tool grinder, a drill grinder. Thank you very much.